Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn Iron Teeth first playthrough. I hope you're all well now. I hope you enjoyed the episode one. Today we're going straight on with hoping to get on top of the food situation here. I have preemptively placed down a couple more water tanks here and I've removed the wheel here because this is now running which is awesome and I think it's because of the way the water was flowing based on this. We're going to work on getting the dam finished here. We've got this one almost done over here which is great for our wood. Other than that, we're fine. So yeah, thank you. If you uh, if you do like the video, do pop a thumbs up on it as well. It helps massively. We've had a couple of deaths. We're only on 10 people now. Uh, breeding is almost finished though. Um, I don't know whether we need more berries in there or whether it just continues to breed constantly. It looks like they've put another one in. I guess if it runs out, it breaks the breeding process. I don't know. I'm kind of keeping an eye on it to see what happens. Let's see if we get one. Hey, we got a little child. So that's cool. Okay, so really then having two of these might be a good idea for a minute and we can always pause it can't we so i'm actually going to go ahead then and grab another breeding pod in we'll get a second breeding pod going and our farmhouse and little storage there has been completed if you can see him stood there which looks awesome i'm going to reduce that down to two uh one so we've got one in each at the moment it's a bit of a waste of time so they are starting to harvest now which is good because this one will harvest these guys as well when it's when it's uh not not busy on this one but I really want to get the next food thing. So I want to get the fermenter in. Now, because we're going to have some harvest soon on that. I don't think we need it in just yet. But we can't eat these without it. That's the problem. And then I want to get this farmhouse. You know what? Maybe I should get that up there now. Although we've got no wood. When we've got wood. Sorry, there's so much to think about, isn't there? When we've got wood, I will move the farmhouse on top of here similar. And then we'll, we'll do the same again. But what we can do is kind of build a bridge across here now. So what we have is the, or at least get them ready, right? So we're going to go platforms. I'm just going to bring those across for the time being. So they cost planks, actually. I can't do any of that yet. So I'm just going to pause that one for now so they don't bother. They can't get to the next one. That's the only reason I'm pausing the one there. Make sure these get done first. So when we've got logs, we'll be happy days, right? So it's just taking a little look here and... Getting the mangroves is a good idea because after 10 days, this plant must be partially submerged in water. So we're going to need to maybe get a mangrove farm going at some point. We'll do that in the river. That's okay. I do want to get some more planks done as soon as wood's okay. This is going to take a while. We are on 11%, 5% on there. Let's mark up a little bit of this up here then. So the lumberjack flags can reach that. So we're going to mark these bad boys. So I need to unmark tree cutting area here these guys clear that out there's nothing left there so we want to get rid of all that that's what you're meant to do right in this game and let's switch it up and let's mark these bad boys here we can't get up to these other ones yet unless we build the stairs i could do that and that would be a way of getting more trees there's some big boys over here as well that give eight each so getting across there would be ideal but again i don't know let's get this all set up for when we're good to go as well and i think those two there are we going to... I don't think I'm going to bother going on here. So we're going to need that for like water pumps and stuff. So I'll probably remove these guys for now on here as well. And then maybe that because that's going to be food. Let's just leave it at that for now. All right. We got some harvest now. I can see some berries, which is awesome. I'm going to prioritize... Oh, I can't prioritize that. There's no point. Don't need any more people just yet. But if they die, you know, we'll keep the one going. All right, what else can we do for the well-being here? There's the bit of fur. The only problem is it all requires resource. So we want to make sure we've got what we want here. So double platform might be a good idea. Uh, 150 points of that one. We do want to go down the gears route when we can. So we've got the gear workshop. So that means we're then going to need to kind of go this way. Large water wheel with high power shafts might be a good idea. So what I can do once this platform's done is I can get the water wheels here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then um, we'll, we'll we'll pipe them in, I think. Going across, I think that's what you can do. Because you just get stairs down. Like so. Yeah, that's what you do. And then you put the path to it, right? Don't quote me on it. And then you can build more. We can get the power going. And then we can queue up what we want here as well. Which is going to be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and remove these lumberjack flags now as well. Because we no longer have anything to cut there. And we're just going to speed it up. There's not a lot we can do until all this is done. So, Oh, there's a tree right there. It only gives two. I might just leave that for now. There's a couple that are growing here, so we could grab those two. They give, like, no wood whatsoever. There we go. Got a nice chunk of area now that can kind of be used. Let's pause this up until that's done. I think we can kind of switch these now, so we can play that one. 
pause that one. I'm going to go back and forth trying to do that just to keep on top of the berries here. We need 10 logs in there and we're almost getting another beaver. We are losing them at the moment, which is a problem. So we obviously need to get on top of that. We do have a little bit of scrap wood rubble here in the way of logs. There's 22 there. So they are trying to finish this dam, which is awesome. Almost done from where we did scrap that one as well. And I think if we... What do we get for demolishing that? 15. How much is it to build another? Do you get all resources back? That is the question. 20. Just shy, so I can't get rid of that just yet either. Got a nice store of food now, though. A nice little surplus, which is awesome as well. I'm already falling in love with the game. It's so cute. Look at this. One more piece. 18 more logs in there. I don't think we quite have... Oh, we might do. 14. Uh, we're going to be a couple shy just to finish that off, but that's okay. We can now get a cross, which is good. So really, then, if we want... I don't know if this is going to be enough or close enough to the district... That might be a problem. Yeah, it's going to go red. I might be able to get a lumberjack flag or two over here. Now, it is red, but I think we can get away with that and we can cut some of these trees down from these bad boys. Yes, we can. Oh, game saved. Amazing. Right, cool. Let's do that then. That's a good start, isn't it? And then we could get a gatherer flag here if we wanted as well. And once this is built, we'll have good... We'll have good... Um, Good pathing for that straight from the district anyway oh we've got our first our first cassava ready the problem is we can't cook that at all just yet so it's a little bit of a waste but we'll keep it stored it's fine we'll keep it stored and we'll get that grind going soon that's what we want to focus on at the moment it's all about these isn't it and we don't have that many so it would make sense to kind of plant some more kohlrabi here i think that is the sensible option here all right, we've got no available workers in the district here, so I'm going to go ahead and let's see what we can pause up. He's almost done there, so we will be able to pause that soon. I'm actually going to pause the inventor right now, and I'm going to prioritize. And oh, there we go. Perfect. We've got one in there, so we're going to start getting some more wood. Yes. Oh, three days for our next one. We're fine. We've got the dam. We'll be more than, more than okay on that, I think, so we're fine. If you guys can grab some water as well, we've got a good store of that, and we don't have that many beavers, so I think we'll be fine. Plenty of berries at the moment that are keeping us going as well. He can't, so let's pause that one and let's swap this one now. We're going to need the farmhouse up here soon. That's going to be our little berry spot. Loads of food being done now as well, which is awesome. I can set this up. This being done would be ideal. Oh my god, they've built these platforms here? Since when? <laughs> Since when? Oh, it's because I hadn't got those unpaused. Silly me. All right, let's mark this one for... Uh, deconstruction as well and then we've got our path route there awesome i'll probably keep this path just for the time being as well just if, in case they need to get around there but yeah that's fine again they're absolutely plowing through these look at that they've almost built our platform here so let's keep our path going across it then awesome let's go all the way across and then we can get down in the water here and we can get mangrove trees everything might go this side for mango tr mangrove trees i don't know where shall i do the power that's what I need your help with. The power wheels, should they be here? I didn't struggle with the folk, folk tales when I was testing it because they have wind power and it was <laughs> a lot easier. It looks like we could get some here and we could start production that this side. We should probably focus on getting more wood on the go. Now, this one can be paused. These take forever, so it's 30 days. Do we want... I think just from this is going to see us through anyway. Got our path going here as well. Do we want something over here in the way of a forest or planting trees? Now, I think that might be a good idea. You know, like just as a, a safety feature, we could have actually got more wood if we just planted some birch right here. It makes life a lot easier. Just got to wait for the one growth. Now, we're getting a tiny bit going here. It might take a while, but we'll slowly get planks in. I think that's okay. We'll just have to let it do its thing. The water barely moves here. Oh, it's because the drought's coming too. That doesn't help. Here we go. We're coming into our second drought right here. We're holding on. Oh, we're already in it, so that's fine. And yeah, we've done it perfectly. So that covers everything up to here as well when they're doing that. So that's awesome. And let's play this one and let's unpause that one. We'll keep rotating these around to get them done. I think our berry storage is full for the time being as well. So we have two two on the breeding process on the go now. So we, we should be able to increase the population a tiny bit. We're a couple of workers short at the moment. So the quicker we can do that, the better. 
And then I'm also going to... Let's put the stairs on here. And let's prioritize those low. This is next focus. So if we can get all this done. I'm going to do... So I think I'll stick to it. I can get my first bit of production in here. If I can get water wheels coming out here... That is the play, right? So if I go something like... Might not be the smartest play, but when we're not droughted, I think it's a good idea. It costs a lot of logs. Certainly does, but that's fine. We should be able to build it from here once this is done. And then I'm going to put the mangrove, I think, in here. With the forester and the stairs going down into there. That would be a good spot for it, I think. These barracks look awesome as well. I like the look of these. They're very, very cool. Got to be careful of the age stuff here. I've got a couple that might die off again soon. How's the breeding looking? That one's nearly done and that one's done. Cool. Yeah, we've had another one die there. But yeah, any new members, like I've said, I will name beavers after you as well. At the moment, we've had the first batch from the guys die off as well. So I'm sorry about that. You served me well, you know. I do think I can go ahead and bin this one off. And I'm just going to slow it down a second whilst I get my second farm. Oh, I messed this up, didn't I? I did. This needs to go. Ah, oh, what have I done? No, we're going to have to... I don't think they're... No, they're, they're fine. I think we might be all right. We just need planks. It should have been that side. That's fine. Make sure this one is prioritized then. Maybe. We're going to need that farmhouse. All right, I'm going to get a second one in here to harvest all this food up where we can as well. And I'm really going to need to work on this storage. I should have probably had both farmhouses by each other. If I had the two storages next to each other, I could have fit them on nicely, couldn't I? Look, I'm a noob. Not be like that. Drought has ended, though. Let's see the water. Let's see if it gives us some power. That's what we want. Let's see this. Here it comes. Flowing down the beautiful river here. Lovely stuff. Give me some power. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, it's a stop start. So you got that tiny bit, did we? Thanks for that game. It's fine. We should get a few, uh, <laughs> a few planks out of this, which is nice as well. And this bit that dried out over here. A little bit unfortunate. Oh, this didn't last too long, actually, the water in there, did it? That's okay, though. So really, then, we could put a border in here. One higher. Oh, God, what am I doing here? Why is this flooding? What the hell just happened? Oh, I'll go back down. There we go. It's because the... Right, that's cool. It hadn't quite leveled out yet. Need to be careful with that. We don't want this flooding at all. Right, we're good. Yep, we're gaining planks. This is exactly what we want. Perfect. We should be able to get... Oh, my stairs are done. There we go. We're okay now. All right, let's reduce that down and let's put one back in here. So the next lot of planks then should be going into these guys so we can get this last walkway finished. That'll be make much more sense over here. We're looking pretty good on the wood front now. And look at this. These Some of these are going to be done soon. So before the next route, we're going to have all the wood from there so we can carry on and focus on our next big priority here which is going to be awesome. And more births and breeding going on as well. I'm hoping I can outdo the deaths with births ever so slightly so we can slowly grow. Do you think we might need another farmhouse based on this though? If I was to get, so let's have a look here. So let's go into storage. If I was to get a medium warehouse, base it a different way. Would that be how we do this? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal. We can't fit anything in there. Unless we can fit our fermenter building in there. Fermenter. What does this thing look like? And that requires power, right? Okay. So we're going to... I have an idea. So if we go... Let's get all these buildings in then. So we're going to go planks. And we're going to go gears. So a two to one ratio. I think it's a good idea. But I am going to lower the priority work place on these. And then I'm going to get in the fermenter in here. That's my plan. A good start, right? There we go. And then it, it should transfer power through all of these. That is the plan. And then we can start cooking up the goods. But let's lower the priority on that one. Let's get these done first then. And then we got a second one done there. So I'm going to pause that one. And I will set that one to be paused when... Yeah, for now. That's good. Here we go. We're almost done as well. we got two more to do in here as well. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this does seem to be flowing okay now, giving us power. So... Yeah, I think until this is built, it does mess with your water flow. And it was kind of pushing all the flow to the left side. I'm guessing that's what it was. How's our breeding looking? 
we're I think we're doing okay with the if we can keep these going we're fine and we're water wise we are more than okay with the pump I sh probably should have turned off during the drought but that's okay if we reduce the water down it is fine that does add them to the path already though let's do one there we'll get our little a little shower in there a little double shower you know that'll keep them happy I think a little bit of happiness goes a long way right and these guys are just waiting on a couple of planks as well which is awesome right let me check in on this so we're going to pause this is going to be recipe fermented cassavas and we don't have the power to work through on that yet so we will pause that one and i've just thought about it when we have because we've got a medium warehouse for cassavas we're going to need another one for the other stuff so let's figure this out how can i do this i think i'm going to have to in this one out i'm going to bring a road around here there we go. I know it's not amazing for the time being, but that's how we're going to have to do it. And this one is going to be the fermented barbers. There we go. Perfect. And that'll be our storage for cooking that as well, because that is going to be something we're going to try and get to early. I think that's a really good idea. Um, and the, we can still build up on this. I might get a second storage on top. We could go down the back of it as well. Maybe. Don't know. Again, we've still got space for more. I'm um, hoping there's a bit more breeding going on soon. We've had another death, which isn't good. Might need a third one of these, maybe. Uh, our biggest problem is... Oh, no, we have plenty of berries, actually. These guys can't really keep up, which is awesome. I don't understand what stops this from flowing. I don't know whether it's because it flows less at night as well. It's just decided it doesn't want to work anymore. This is going to have to go all the way along to get good power, I think. Kind of transfer through, you know. Um, because we're not getting anything at the moment. I've got a worker in there. Might go up to two in there, actually. We've got the spaces at the moment. And then when they get in, we'll hopefully get the logs as quick as we can. So until that's done then, do you reckon we get another power wheel in here? So we do something like this. Just to power this. When they're all connected, it should be fine, right? Might be a smart idea. 40 logs. I do think it's needed right now because this the other one just isn't working and yeah let's do that prioritize this one get that one finished and then we can actually power our, our planks here and then once these are done i think we'll be okay i just all learning guys you know I'm managing ever so slowly it's just weird how it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't all right they're trying their best to bring the logs over We've got the last couple of logs coming in here it's on 38 40 there we go all right we have a wheel ready Perfect. So we should be good to produce right here. So we've got 10 adults now, which is awesome. Um, uh, three children. How? What's their age? Is there a way of seeing their age here? Is it just hovering over this? I don't know. That's fine, though. We have no actual vacancies or anything going on at the moment. We've got seven free beds at the moment, so we are okay. Now, this should get it popping here. It'd be nice and quick on our planks. There we go. This has been finished. So we should be nice, a lot quicker and efficient now to get all this done. Beautiful. So they're now finishing the stairs once they've got the planks. I don't have plank storage because I destroyed it. So with that in mind, it probably is good to do something. Can you do... We could do a large industrial pile on top for planks. I think that might be a good idea. Now, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how we do this. So I want to, that's obviously how we're going to have to do it at the moment. And then we'll do that with a path that leads into it there. And this one is going to be planks. That's more, I think for now that'll do. And then we can go up again. I could do a double platform and stairs. I think that'll work. We might need to go round maybe for a third one. I don't know. I do, I do understand that stacking is important to make use of the space, and we'll obviously have to change things around as we get going. When we've got workers again and I've got three space, I'll turn on the inventor again. But for the time being, we are going to pump out planks to potentially finish <laughs> these when we've got the logs. I might pause this for a second, actually. Let's get more people working here. There we go. We've got three unemployed right now. Six people happy, so hopefully these will get built Okay, there. So we almost got the next one done. It's all. This is all we needed. We're all go now. So this is perfect. We're gonna get all this done. Not even gonna change priorities or any of these. They'll all get done nice and quick anyway. And I think I can then go ahead and turn that one back on to be built as well. And we can start going down. Ugh, population. 
Damn it. How are we doing? I might need to get another one in. I don't think two is enough. So let's get a two more in. I can always pause them if needed anyway. Let's get these guys built. And let's get some extra people in. This should be okay how we've done this. We can fit another one in. I'm hoping to fit maybe one or two more in there. We might need teeth grindstones and stuff that fit in the little gaps, but that's okay. Again, we are very much going to be limited to this. So in terms of power, what else can we do? Ah, now we're talking an engine. That requires metal. Okay, gravity battery stores energy surplus and gives it back when its network is underpowered. That would be really, really good. Where's our closest mine then? One here. Up there is probably the closest. We can probably get that on the first district, couldn't we? And then there's one up here as well. Sorry, ruins. There's no actual mine. The mine is there. Okay. These ruins are pretty close, but we would need a second district for that. And he did get far enough to actually play with the district at least before, which is good. How are we doing here, guys? Is this built yet? No. All right. Get it pumping. Hey, we're doing good. And I think we should have multiple breeds going on now. Awesome. Let's get this beaver count up a little bit then. That's what we're kind of lacking at the moment, getting things done, isn't it? And I think we can kind of get some more stairs down here. So I'll do what I was saying, and I'm going to put in mangrove, I think, over here. So let's do something like, I don't want loads. We don't need a massive amount, but I think that might be a good idea. And we're going to need some kind of forester be able to do that maybe over here when we've got the population all right let's pump this up to uh 24 hours just to get this going because to be honest we need the planks this isn't going to get finished in time so i don't even think we'll be cooking anything this this drought but that's okay i'll probably turn off the pump beforehand as well yeah we can pause that to stop pumping let's free up the workers here all right i'm getting this going then so we've got our first bit of uh meant to Slavas going. I'm going to reduce the working hours now back down to 20. I've got one in the wheel. And we're going to get our first cooked food. So this is going to increase happiness further, right? And the more happiness you get, the more productivity you get. So we now have fermented cassavas, which is awesome. They're going to get eaten pretty quick, though. Okay. But water storage, we're fine. This drought was uh, only three days anyway. We could pump a little bit if we needed to here. Oh, I've took out the, uh, the bloody workers in here. And then these aren't getting done now. So what's going to happen here? Does the breeding progress, I guess, stalls until you get the berries in? Looks that way. Ah, that's it. If you reduce that to 19 hours, they'll do it at night and they'll top this up. That's what we want. So I want to get up to the 20 here. We've got more than enough stuff to keep that going now as well. Look at all this wood. Okay. I wonder how much power does that take? So that takes 50. This gives... Network power supply is 52. The demand is 50. So we can't quite turn. We hit seven wellness there, though. That's awesome. I, think, I hope they're enjoying their shower, too. That's good. But we are in a position to kind of layer up now. If we were to get another barracks in here. What is it to... Can we turn this on? We've got no one ready. No, we can't go that high. It's too far from the district. I get it. That's fine. Yeah, th that is perfect. Look at that. I'm going to pause one of these a second. But that is really, really good right there. So we can actually do that amazing exactly how i wanted it actually so then we can do the same again if we need breeding pods in here and we can kind of go this way with that not too shabby we've got too many berries though so i think we can probably pause that one for the time being all right let's turn on the water pumping again i'm seeing it getting a little bit low the drought's almost over so we should be fine to pump out some water now and i should be able to turn this off and these will go back on in a minute as well so happy happy days i'm going to turn this back on We'll get more fermenting food as we go as well. Oh my god, there's so much like micromanagement and I love it. Let him go in the wheel as well. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to welcome some new beavers in. So we're officially on 13 now. 14, 15. Amazing. Here we go. The more we can get in now, the better, right? And drought has ended, so we should see this come scaling down the waterfall now. Water source. Okay. Come on in. This will temporarily flood again, like last time, as the water comes in. So that's okay. I think we can... When we have the surplus, we can start on the gears. So there we go. We can pause that one up now. Probably do with a third one of these. But these guys, are we out of storage? We are. So they're going to stop chopping down the logs. 
because we don't have any storage here. All right, let me think about this. I think we can do this, right? So these are going to be log storages as well. This might not be the smartest thing, but I'm thinking... We do this. Uh, all I need is a platform here, actually, and then the path, isn't it? That should be fine. Now I can assign. I'm going to need a path underneath as well. Beautiful. And then I can assign logs to these as well. Let's get the logs going. Beautiful. Let's get those built. Get them go. They're just in there. Sorting it out. Let's get this going. What do we need? We've got nine planks now. We're looking good. I think... Hmm... We have 11 beavers. No one spare yet. As soon as someone spare, I will turn these on. I'll we'll get more planks on the go and we'll go with that, really. Doesn't hurt to get a surplus on that. A hey, wellness is on 8, though, for the beavers now as well. Awesome. How are you guys looking? That one staircase there gives us... There we go. we got log storage, so they'll go to chopping this down again, which is what we want. I'll leave that guy in there for the time being. And I think we're going to end up with another batch of babies... A uh, few more days, and we'll be good on that as well. All right, that storage has been completed, so we are good to go here then. Look at that. So we can get the larger ones here. We can scale up even higher if we want. We could use that to platform and build up here. There you go. Food for food. Food? It's food for thought, guys. That's what we need, right? Right, I want to check in on the well-being now. So we are gaining some little bits here. I want to get this large warehouse... Now, the reason I want to get this is because it's going to save us a lot of a headache on storage, isn't it? But until then, I don't think there's much we can do. Doesn't look like we can keep up with this either, so we're going to need a second one in these guys. Kind of chop all those down when we've got the workers. We do have two spare now, so I can I think I can turn this one back on. Uh, yeah, they should stop doing that and move to the other jobs when they can, right? Because the priorities. We should be fine. Look at the farmers go, eh? Right, what have we got this one set to? Prioritize resources, Kastaba, and then these guys, Kohlrabi. They should both be planting first. Awesome. I can see this drying out here. Not sure why. Drying out and we'll die. Hmm. Sometimes that's okay and sometimes it isn't. Not sure, but it's okay. Do I need another water pump yet? I don't think I do. We'll be okay with just the one. I'm looking, although I've got to be wary of the population. Actually, I do need to keep that in mind. I'm going to keep that bit free. I don't know how I'm going to run the power. This might become the power area across there. Production. So I think another water pump here. With a path. Just there will be just fine. And then we'll get into the large storage soon as well when we've got the workers available. Maybe. Yeah, look at them inside. You can literally see the little babies like floating around inside. That's weird. Very, very weird. Cool though. Alright, let's um pause that water pump. It is ready to go. We don't need it just yet. What I do need is a couple more to grow up. We'll have a little bit more space then and we can start running the um what's it called? We can start running the gear workshop here because we've got 34 planks in stock now. It's looking good. And wood is looking very, very healthy, so I'm very happy with that. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here, whether we go one higher. I think the these guys have a deep water pump. It can reach down deep mechanical water pump, six, six depth. They've all grown up, so let's get one person in there. Let's start getting um, to work on a medium tank here. 120 we need research points for that. We're almost there. There we have it. There's our first gear. Now I know I appreciate that I might be a little bit slower than other people at this game and not as efficient. I am well aware. I'm here to learn. So please do tell me. Please do tell me I am trying my best. I've never touched these before, before these two episodes. So obviously that's why. That's what's up right now, you know. A little path there as well. I'm thinking, again, I still do want to bridge this across, though, and I'm thinking we go that route. I want to keep getting this in. So as soon as we've got more grow up, I will probably get a second person in the inventor, and we'll try and unlock what we can. Uh, because we have room within our well-being here, it might make sense. Uh, we're definitely not going down this route yet. We need more. We need more stuff. Floodgate. Blocks water up to adjustable height. Dynamite. Yeah, we're definitely not ready for any of that stuff yet. That's way more complex stuff, isn't it? I think our berry berry hut is full as well. So let's um let's get another storage going for that. I think if we get 
a warehouse here. I could just do something weird. Now, this isn't going to look nice by any means, but it's going to be okay for what we're trying to do. If I just go like this and then just stick a little path in. There. And there. And this is going to be berries again. Because we've run out of storage and they're just standing there. We have 15 grown up now. And we have a few more on the way. And we're going to have more grown up soon as well. So we're looking, we're, we're progressing. We're progressing slowly, but we are progressing, all right? And we have plenty of food going now, which is really good. And a few gears. So we can now officially unlock the medium tank. Do we need this just yet, though? I don't think we do, you know. I think that's a not a smart move, if I'm honest. I think getting more production going. What are these guys? Wow, number cruncher. No thanks. How much does that thing cost? Maybe a large warehouse might be the play. 250. That'll save us so much space, wouldn't it? Or even a double platform. I'm not sure yet. Well, yeah, let me know on those. I might just I might just take a bit of your input on those guys because I'm not sure what to do. Suspension bridge, not really sure how those works. Up to a six, I guess, on the gaps. Well-being might be a good idea, like a medical bed or something. What are these, a shrine? I'm guessing the more of these types of things you unlock, though, that when you get a happiness boost, it is a good thing. So let's pop a little shrine in there. Is that right? Yeah, it's only cost 20 logs. And that, I'm guessing, will increase stuff. I need to research a little bit of that. Because when you go into... I'm trying to understand some of this. If you, I was hoping that you could hover over these and it tells you what bonus they get. Ah, uh, here we go. So this stuff here, I'm seeing. You get minus and pluses here for what they're doing. So the happier they are, the more worker speed and stuff you get out of them. That's fine. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, we will go down the well-being route then. That's probably a really good idea. We have officially got 16 adults, so I do want to get another Forester in now, so I think we can potentially... He does reach that mangrove site, so that would be perfect. And I am going to get in even more, so I'm going to do this. Let me see. We could fit in this bit as well, so let's do that. Mangroves in here. It's going to be beautiful. We're straight down into this mangrove forest. That's so cool. Awesome. You get a little bit of power out of this one, but it's not amazing. So I've got the hamster wheel running constantly. We have 18 beavers now. Oh my god, let's uh, let's pause up another one somewhere. Who's the least of you? Don't want to overdo it, I'm scared. 19. Bring the path down, and we're going to build in more power here. Not efficient, I know. Not efficient. But don't judge me on it, alright? I may as well just fill it up for the time being, so we can actually just cancel this one, get all the production we can out of these. Then I can start this one up so we can go boom. Two in there. We have the capacity. Beaver, beaver is injured. All right, maybe we do need this medical bed then. Grab a medical bed. All right, where do we want these ones? These will fit in nicely here. Let's grab two medical beds in there. They don't cost a lot. Perfect. We have 10 gears. Okay, we don't have storage for gears now. This is where it gets a bit out of hand. So we're going to need a mangrove storage, right? So we're going to need a medium warehouse for that. Look at those. They look so cool, man. Look at him swimming through, planting those. We're going to need, I think, do it so we can double up again. And let's go one platform there with a stair. Like that. Perfect. And path just there as well. And this one is going to be mangroves. So think it's in here mangrove fruits lovely and then we will need a gatherer flag can you reach that we can reach some i do want to demolish these actually so i'm going to go ahead and do what i wanted to do here i'm going to get rid of these we don't need them anymore we got more than enough berries clear out all of this and uh those guys as well and then we'll pause that one and we'll play on that one there we go, perfect. We'll clear those guys out and we'll get a gatherer flag, I think, over here. Let's see what reaches. Oh, that's more than enough, right? Although the storage room is here, that's not going to reach there, is it? What about in there? Beautiful. There we go, that gatherer flag. What do I need cutting? Yeah, gatherings for the fruit, right? If I just leave those there, that's fine. We have another drought incoming. No problem. Let's get our gears on the go as well. So let's pause it up. Or we'll play in slow-mo here. 
And we, we're going to need a warehouse for gears. How much do they hold? 30. Is that going to be more than enough for now? I think so. Let's pop it there for a minute. We're just going to put gears in there. Hey, we're running fairly efficiently at the moment. That's not bad. Um, the only thing we're going to need to do... I'm just looking here. You've got these little lines. So the logs are pretty damn full again. Tanks are okay. These guys are fine. We've got more than enough wood that's going to see us through anyway. I'm not too concerned about that. The, this, so these kind of see you through for a long time. It's more than we needed really, but... Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what's next on the crop side of things. So soybean would be next. Can you do soybeans? Oh, we can. So if we were to go another farm and go soybean. See this here? I could go another farmhouse on there. The distance isn't great, though. Hmm. I'm going to pause it up there. That's one for the next episode. So as always, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you are new around here, consider subbing. And do keep dropping the hints. I really, really appreciate them. As always, though, guys, do take it easy. And I'll catch you in the next one.